Look at her. She's scared. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. How is everyone go doing? Going? Doing? I had to put my phone a little further away from me, you guys, because my tripod is at home and I'm just not getting off work, of course. Um, I just kind of want to chat with you guys for a little bit. So we're going to do like a slash story time. Um, I am moving 15 hours away from my hometown. Um, that is our, our surprise. And I have like snippets and within my video, I'm trying to do one video of me turning my 30 day notice in and also quitting my job that I've been at. Okay, sorry you guys. And excuse my shirt, my scrubs. I've been in these scrubs for a minute and I've been eating and dealing with all type of stuff. So with that being said, I'm back. I'm gonna try to, let me see if I can put it here. I'm trying to see where I can put this. Hopefully it'll fall again. If it falls again, you guys, I'm gonna have to wait till I get my tripod. But, um, look at this, look at her. Couldn't wait to pass me up. But anyways, um, I'm on my way in now to th turn my 30 day, as a 30 day notice in and pay my last month's rent. Um, I'm, it is bittersweet. I've been in my hometown my whole life. I've never lived anywhere else besides uh, my hometown and I'm 33. So I've been here for 33 years. My kids are kind of smaller. So um, I'll do another story time on why I decided to move so far away from home. Um, but the move is happening here in the next few weeks. And um, like I said, we're gonna be 15 hours, maybe 15 and a half hours away from home. And um, yeah, so that's where I'm on my way to. I'm on my way to my lease manager. I'm gonna try to record me like actually giving her my 30 days and also paying my last month rent and receiving my receipt for the last and final time. I wish I had my son or someone here to kind of record me because all of these moments matter. And sorry if the camera is shaking, you guys. Like I said, I'm driving, I'm talking to you all. So, excuse me. But yes, I'm excited. The kids are excited. I have not went to get boxes yet, but we're going to be doing that. I pray we could do this that this weekend um, as well to get some stuff out. If not, for sure, next weekend we will be doing it. Um, I want to show you guys. So here is my 30-day notice. I signed it at the bottom. And I'm excited about it. So, yeah. So with that being said, you guys, come along with me as I head to the office, the lease and managers, and let them know that I've been living there for three years, that I'm no longer going to be residing there. Here's my 30 days. Here's my last month rent. I'm going to ask a question about my deposit, and I'm sure I'm not going to receive my deposit back, but because of my, I have children, of course, a few nicks and depths and stuff like that. I have been keeping up with the place overall, but there are some minor issues, and I don't know if she's gonna if I'm gonna get my deposit back or not. So I'm gonna let you guys know what she says once I get there. Hopefully you guys can kind of listen, but if not, I'll let you guys know what we talked about. All right, I'm back. You guys, let me tell y'all. I didn't get to record everything because it was like miscommunication, mishaps, upsetness. I don't know what it was, but. The lady that I usually deal with um, when I pay my rent, she's very, very nice, very nice lady. Um, even like when I'm late, she's very, very understanding. Hold on, you guys. I want to make sure I don't hit this um, motorcycle. I ain't got no motorcycle money. Very understanding, very nice lady. Um, I hate that I have the stains on my shirt. I don't know. Um, and I went in to turn in my 30 day and give her my rent, right? And she went in on me. Like, I was, I'm like, I don't know what's going on with you. She was like, I'm like, she was like, hi, how are you? I'm like, I'm good. I'm excited. She was like, <laughs> what are you excited about? I said, girl, you know, I've been talking to you about my move for like seven months now. 
Like literally, keep it up with you. You giving me ideas and all that. And she was like, okay, but you didn't turn your 30 day notice in. I said, I'm doing it now. She said, yeah, but you're supposed to do it on June 1st. So you're not moving out to July 1st, right? No, nigga. I'm moving out. I mean, no, yeah, I am moving out July, July 1st, but I'm moving out this month. I will be out by July 1st. She said, well, I told you to make sure you turn it in by the 1st of June. Bitch, I did turn it in on the 1st of June. I called, like you told me to do, uh, to make sure I could do it online. Sorry, I gotta get over it. And I did it online at 11, maybe 11.59 or 11.58, somewhere like that. I'm like, let me get it in before midnight because I don't have time for people to try to have something up on me. I No offense to white people because I love white people, but white people tend to see you're trying to do something better for yourself and they they, they, they want to pick with you so you can get out of character. It's just, it's just different things that I notice about Caucasian people and black people, like, you knew what I was doing and how I was doing it, and you told me what to do, and I'm following what you told me to do. Although I did not turn in my 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 30 day in written on the first, I did. I emailed you guys and like I was told to do, and I did what I was told to do, and I did that. Right now, today I'm paying my rent. It's the fifth, the last day of the rent, or last day for the rents to be due, and I'm turning in my 30 day with it. My written, well, we don't need the written. We're, I'm gonna go ahead and look at the system and see if you have one. The her she went to go get her manager, and her manager came around like, yeah, I got it, I received it, and she's shaking her head. I said, yeah, cause she just flipped on me because she thought I didn't do it. I did, which she's like, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I just told him like, you guys have to communicate in here because I just beat her up in the front because she did. I thought she didn't turn on her, her lady. I'm 33 years old. I'm very responsible, very, very reliable, and I stand on business. So when y'all tell me that I need to do something to, properly so that it won't go on my credit, because I have had fuck up credit for leaving places messy or not paying rent, and I have a history of being dumb and young back then, but it only takes one time for me, and sorry about my lips. My lips seem white. Come on, y'all. I got this car next so I talk to y'all. Made me mad. Oh, I gotta go home to the shower, brush my teeth, and get to my ex. Alright. So, yeah, don't get mad at me because I'm moving and I'm trying to be successful, and y'all stuck in this little ass town. I don't like that. Don't get mad at me when we were just kicking it for seven to eight months. Every time I pay my rent, I sit and I talk to you for 30 minutes, 45 minutes about what my plans are. Now you're upset. I hate that. I hate that. Like genuine people, like it's so hard to find genuine, genuine women. I don't care. Black, white. I love all people. But like I said, the difference, sometimes there is a difference. But just be happy for that person if they're trying to be successful and if you want to be successful ask them for advice like why are you hating behind the desk talking about a 30 day so y'all can charge me another month rent was i wasn't paying but i did it properly i did it right now i might not get my deposit back because my son has punch holes in the wall we have like food furniture to in a hole in the wall trying to have fix it and they're going to take my deposit it's over with i don't care so with that being said, uh, other than that, everything is perfect timing. The owner actually wanted the house back so that he could remodel the house, which was going to have to cause me to move out anyway. And I didn't know that until today. And I would have been stressing. Oh, my Lord. I would have been stressing because you can't remodel when there's someone redeeming the place. So that worked out. See, God is working out like everything is starting to really work out. I have so many story times that I want to tell you guys about my move that I'm going to tell you guys. So please stay tuned. Um, the process, my kids go to start new schools. Um, the transition to the doctor's office is finding jobs, um, finding new, you know, I really truly ain't got to find new friends, but just having new people to be around, the new centuries, um, sports, and just really truly being successful. So, me having to work all this double and extra overtime in my externship is really working out for the better, although I'm still struggling with it and 
beating myself up about it. I'm super tired. And as you guys know, lately, the way I've been talking, I am still congested, still have a cold, still sick, trying to get through and be successful for me and my four kids. So when there's a will, there's definitely a way. And I'm going to say it one more time. When there is a will, there's a way. So don't ever, ever be scared to make a leap off faith. Get in gear and get it going. Like I said, I have so many story times that I'm going to tell you guys here soon. But everything that I'm stepping into, I worked my ass off for it. I searched, I Googled, I lost sleep. I reached out to people I never knew. I literally being strangers on Facebook, jumping into people inboxes. So with that being said, I would never ever not give anybody advice. I don't care who you are. I'm here for you to talk to you. You can always email me at Nita Jones 26 at yahoo.com or my, um, that's my personal. And you guys could do that too. Um, if I don't respond to Nita Rache 04, that one, try that one first. And then the other one, if I don't at yahoo.com. So it's Nita Rache 04 at yahoo.com. Um, I will respond that way as well. And if I feel like you need my number, we'll get, we'll get, we'll keep in contact. I do have supporters. I do receive emails actually from, and it, it's a few, but, um, I'm excited you guys. And by the time I post this video, we'll probably be on the road. So, uh, like I said, I'm going to capture every moment I can regarding my move. Um, we're going to vlog all, all of this. I do have vlogs in between that will be dropping. Um, nothing is ever current. So anything that I drop. Oh, my God, you guys. Just, look at this. I'm going to blur this out. Anything I ever drop uh, will never be the day of or the day before or whatever it'll always will probably will be at a whole nother scenery by the time y'all you, you get this video so it's just it is just for the safety of me and my children because it's just us so um with that being said the kids are hungry i do have externs so i gotta run home and take a shower real quick so i can get to my extern um i'm going to end this vlog so i can get them some donuts and fruit drop that off to them and get to my extern I will be back, you guys, because I'm not done with this. I mean, this video is going to be done for the day. But tomorrow, which will be Thursday, I will be turning in my two-week notice for my job that I've been at for seven years. I'm also excited about that as well. So stay tuned, you guys. Bye. Hello, Nita Rache, my sisters, brothers, aunts, and uncles. We are on our way to... Our home field is in Augustana. Um, Walmart, we're going grocery shopping, so this is gonna be a grocery haul. I just got off work for my extern, so we're gonna see how they do at Walmart, and then we're gonna let you guys know what we get. We do, ouch! And what we have for dinner? Um, y'all know seafood boyo. Malachi says seafood boyo. Seafood boil, you guys. I have, look at Zodo. I have Zodo here. She finna take her butt back in the house. She is not going with us. You are not going with us. Yes, she is. So we are on our way into Walmart. Once we get there, you guys, I'll vlog a little bit while we're in there. And then I'll show you guys what we got. Um, we are, this month, we will be grocery shopping lightly. We won't be doing nothing heavy. So it's summertime. Less cookie and more on the go, go, go. Um, yes. Look at their hair, y'all. <laughs> I gotta get my kids together. I'm gonna start trivia today. It's a guy? Give me some. Give me some. Give me some. Give me some. Give No, that's okay, Ari. We'll get it when we get home. Axel. No, she, you already rung it up. I think Ivory got it over there. Or something. No, it's right here. 
Teach me to talk right. You're not a baby. This chicken right here and this rice, I want to bag together. Hi right, guys, I am back. I could not really record at Walmart because it was overly packed. The summertime, the kids are out of school. There's a lot of crying going on in Walmart. My kids was everywhere. So, sorry, I'm trying to fix this. If you hear my sink, it's broken up. So, um, hold on you guys. Can you run to the car and get my charger? It's on the side of my book bag. On the side of it, it's the white charger. To me, it's a hey y'all. So Tremia requested a seat from oil because I've been at work, yeah. working my butt off and my, doing my externship. So with that being said, I'm going to give her a seat from oil. So I'm going to show you guys what we got from Walmart. Excuse my sink. My sink is terrible. Um, I want to show you guys what we got from Walmart. However, we kind of, my charger, if you look on, if you lift my book bag up, put your hands down the socket, the side pockets, you're going to see a white charger. Um... I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed and I gotta work at 11. And I think truly tonight I'm gonna go in at 11. I'm gonna try to go in at 9, 30, 10 o'clock, but I don't think that's gonna happen because I gotta do my baby hair. She been looking wild. With that being said, um, I don't know y'all, where was that? We went shopping for a little bit. For, we got enough about for another week um, or so. Um, it's the summertime, so I kinda let the kids pick what they wanna eat because they're gonna be in the house and I'm gonna be at work. And at my extern, I, I should be done with my extern next week. So meanwhile, they got all the stuff they need for the week, juice, snacks, they own cereal, quick, something quick to put in the microwave. I'm cooking seafood tonight for them. And we just go go like that. I end up cracking the eggs. Look at all these eggs I cracked. I end up dropping it, thinking it was something else. I got 10 eggs out of that, so I'm okay with that. Uh, we end up getting a box of crab legs. I only got one box because only Tremia eats the crabs. My girls, they do like the shrimp and the sausage and stuff like that. And takes not here. Normal. So, I'm just going to um, get these going, boil these. And that's how they look. They came from Walmart. So, hopefully they're pretty, much pretty good. I don't know what's wrong with the sink, y'all. Hold on. Alright, guys. I am back. Sorry about that. I had to rush and put my food on because I have Bible studies in 30 minutes. But, and I have to also eat one of these. Oh. This? Yeah. Already cooked sausage. Sorry. If you have kids at home and you and they are breakfast kids, like my kids, they have to have breakfast. Then this is easy. They just put a couple of them in a bowl or in a um, on a plate, put them in the microwave for like a minute or two minutes, and then they can have them with pancakes or salt or waffles or whatever, whatever you want to do. So I got these. You hear how how to make them? Okay. Some plums for Tremina. She likes plums. She likes fruit.
She's in there. Some milk. Get that rack. Why is that racks in there? Oh. Um, they did get a few lunchables. And they got some lo little yogurt, um, little drinks that they're gonna drink in one day, 24 hours. <laughs> Get that um, put in from under there. And what is that Walmart bag that's in there too? That's not busy, I'll be on. Okay, sorry you guys, I'm back. Like I said, it's the summertime. The kids are whacked out. So, um, like I said, 20 minutes. And then I roll it like a burrito. I might put some more cheese in it, and then I roll like a burrito, and then I cut it. And it's a burrito. It's like a piece of burrito. And I eat it, and then they get some, and whatever. So, I'll still buy these. These are good. I literally love those. And I love spicy stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna eat this out. Uh, my middle child, she had Lucky Charms. My baby got Apple Jacks and personal cereal. And I got Fruity Pebbles. Shamia got Fruity Pebbles. That's my favorite cereal. I got some chicken breasts. I'll fucking get on TikTok and see what I can uh, make up with this because I I don't know when I'll be able to cook again, but yeah. I got ground beef that I'm gonna make with um, these tortito. I'm gonna show you guys when I'm gonna make this ground beef for it. What steak? What steaks? Yes, I'm making seafood and stop talking like that while I'm on camera. Weird. These things. So I make these and I put ground beef in them. And then I put um, marinara sauce in it, like red sauce, spaghetti sauce. And then I uh, put cheese on it and I bake it again. And then they have these with garlic bread and salad. Sausages, beef sausage that's gonna go in um, with the seafood boil. Here, Trimmy, I told you to throw these eggs out. Here, I got these. Come on! Okay, I'm doing No, you. Hold on, you guys. I got these Hershey chocolate puddings that I love. I can eat these all day. I eat them all night. I need to stop, I know. I didn't gain 80 pounds. But I got these um, baked beans that my daughter loves. She loves these. She'll um, warm them up. No. Always want to be about her. She's annoying. So my youngest child, back to what I was saying. She likes these. She likes baked beans. She eats them alone by herself. So that's just one of her favorites. So I got her a couple of them. Um, I also seen this chicken uh, to our... Uh, Artisserie roasted chicken base that go with the seafood boil. So I'm gonna try that with my sauce today. And I got some cheese to go with what I told you guys I was gonna make another day. Mom, can you make the sauce a little spicy? Yeah. Mm. Go put some Gatorade in this room, yeah. I got uh, pancakes, buttermilk pancakes that they put in the microwave. Again, I'm always at work, so they will need to, well, my oldest will need to make them some breakfast. Um, my oldest daughter, she cooks some breakfast, so she makes she can make these with the sausage. I got these for work, this chicken, bacon ranch. Um, I'll eat these at work, so, so I'm gonna have to stop and get food. 
or egg my externship. Gotcha. Um, some more little Lunchables. Some butter to go with my seafood boil for my sauce. Some brown sugar to go with my seafood boil for my sauce. I got noodles that I'm gonna make with also with our seafood boil just in case the sauce is a little bit spicy. They can also have noodles with it. So we're gonna have these tonight as well. What? And then these, this is the chicken broth, the, the base of the seafood boil. Trivia, what? Tell her to give me two minutes. Tell her to rewash up. I also got me some cereal. I like to go to do these to go things. Cause I don't like a lot of cereal, but if I'm like rushing to work, I can hurry up and throw it in here and eat it at work or whatnot, or in the car. So I got these. I got soy sauce. My mom's husband is gonna make some Vietnamese food this weekend for us. Um, garlic powder, or garlic powder to go with the seafood boil. Some more baked beans for my baby. Some more seasoning. Well, if I'm, if I, as I'm going through the bag, we'll find it. Otherwise, I don't know. I'm not going to stop when I'm going to get some workers. If y'all hear my baby yelling in the background, that's because she don't have to help in the shower. All right. I also got some mozzarella sticks for my middle child. She likes them. My son also likes these. They, so they'll do these one day when they just want a quick snack for lunch. I did try, I wanted to try this ice cream. The box kind of smells. So I'm gonna try these a little bit. I can't, cause she wants to get out. I got some Apple Jacks, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, some more butter for the house. A Kit Kat for I don't know what kept that in the bag. Um, sliced cheese for the refrigerator. And no one to Ask? Did you ask her what she want? So popcorn, chicken for a quick dinner or a quick lunch. I did get the corn that I'm about to start. Um, I'm gonna take the crabs out and then throw this in. Makes it. I got some French fries for the rest of the freezer. Okay, so this is some personal stuff, so I ain't, y'all need to see none of this. I got noodles that I'm gonna make with also with our seafood boil, just in case the sauce is a little bit spicy. They can also have noodles with it. So we're gonna have these tonight as well. What? And then these, this is the chicken broth, the, the base of the seafood boil. Trivia, what? Tell her to give me two minutes. Tell her to rewash up. I also got me some cereal. I like to go to do these to go things. Cause I don't like a lot of cereal, but if I'm like rushing to work, I can hurry up and throw it in here and eat it at work or whatnot, or in the car. So I got these. I got soy sauce. My mom's husband is gonna make some Vietnamese food this weekend for us. Um, garlic powder, or garlic powder to go with the seafood boil. Some more baked beans for my baby. Some more seasoning. Well, if I'm, if I, as I'm going through the bag, we'll find it. Otherwise, I don't know. I'm not going to stop when I'm going to get some workers. If y'all hear my baby yelling in the background, that's because she don't have help in the shower. All right. I also got some mozzarella sticks for my middle child. She likes them. My son also likes these. They, so they'll do these one day when they just want a quick snack for lunch. I did try, I wanted to try this ice cream. The box kind of smashed. So I'm gonna try these. 
I can't because she wants to get out. I got some Apple Jacks, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, some more butter for the house, a Kit Kat for I don't know what Kit put that in the bag. Um, sliced cheese for the refrigerator. I know I'm trouble. Did you ask her what she want? Some popcorn chicken for a quick dinner or a quick lunch. What do you want? I did get the corn that I'm about to start. Um, I think I'm gonna take the crabs out and then throw this in. Mix it. I got some French fries for the rest of the freezer. Okay, so this is some personal stuff, so I y'all need to see none of this. Hey, literally. All right, you guys, I'm sorry. I was in my Bible study, so I couldn't record me making my seafood. But we about to I'm going to need this just in case. Mom, I, I don't put it all over the food because I don't like it. Okay. All right. I didn't know that, but you made me. Melakai, leave her alone. And I got me. All right, you said okay. Hi everyone, it is Friday. And like I told you guys earlier in our early video, or earlier in this video, not in our other videos. Um, in the previous videos though, you guys did see Zoe going to meet her um, new forever home. And today is the day that we get rid of her. So I, um, I'm not even gonna say get rid of her. Today is the day she finally goes with her new family. Um, so I'm on my way home from my externship and um, my daughter is gonna start packing her things up and um, we're gonna go drop her off. Um, unfortunately, my youngest is actually going with her godmom this weekend. So she won't be able to like get upset and you know, more and cry over um, Zoe because she was really connected with her. Um, but she was also getting sick while she was around her. Um, every time I think Ari was sick like maybe two to three times a month um, due to Zoe as well um, and it's just like her like I told you guys her properly sorry my hands in the way her not getting taken care of properly and things like that um, so you guys are going to come along with us as we send her off to her new family like Tremia is about to get the pack of her stuff so I'm going to vlog that and um, we'll keep you guys updated okay you guys we are all packed up Tank has Zoe's stuff. What's in there, Tank? Her, um, or the food. Her food. Okay. I don't think it's gonna fit in the trunk. What you think? Open it. Open it. You ain't even got the keys on my keys. In the vlog. I got the extra. I got it too. Extra. How do you feel about it, though? I don't know. I ain't. Okay. You okay? How you feel about the arse? Move arse. Mad. You mad? Come here, get your ass what back you down here. I pressed the button. Hi vlog, welcome back. You guys, it is so hard. Shout out to all the YouTubers, all the content creators that get footage when you have children because it's so hard to grab your tripod, your charger, your camera, your phone, and good moments, whatever type of moments, I don't know. All I know is I'm trying. So give me credit for trying for you guys. But we are on our way. We got Zoe stuff in the car. I dropped my son off at practice. My daughter's with her godmom, so I only have my two other daughters. And we are on our way to drop Zoe off for the last time. Um, and that's just gonna be that. And then I'm going home making me a burger and french fries and I'm gonna try to take an hour nap. My job want me to come in early. I don't know if that's gonna happen. <clears throat> but I'm gonna try my best to get there so I can do what I gotta do. Um, so with that being said, stay tuned. Thank you for your patience. Thanks for understanding. These are gonna get better with my vlogs, I promise you guys. I'm very intelligent with the vlogs, but it's just that I gotta constantly remind myself that, keep the camera rolling, okay? So. 
give me a moment. We're about to get this uh, started, this process for my Zoto, and we'll be back. Street to stay on 38th Street. We have three minutes remaining. No! She's not leaving. She just gonna visit the number time, and then she come on with us. All right, before we move, I could just go get her, and then I could sneak her in the car. Mm -hmm. So, Mom, how are we moving again? I don't have a clue what you're saying. Look at her. She's scared. <laughs> oh. Zodi! I'm gonna give her a hug. Their last little hug. Oh, yeah, we already know that. We don't want her to be violent. Si, pues. I'll take it. ¿Y cada cuánto la bañan, Sandra? I don't know if you want it right now, but. Uh, I can, I can. Oh, you can uh -huh. it? Yeah. Um, maybe every two weeks. Yeah, in the one. In like a month though, that's why I wanted to get her room. So she might need some more. Okay. 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 I'm trying to so bad. I picked up and didn't and didn't mean to because I knew I had something going on. But then I'm trying to get ready for this move, so it's like my hands are everywhere because we leave at 18 days. So I'm still gonna try to stop by though. What time does it start for? Okay, yeah, I'm still gonna try to stop by myself instead of just bringing the kids. Um, and then I have to go back to work because I work. Do you I love your new home? First and second tomorrow. Today, tonight. I know, but I have to because I don't. I gotta have money to move. <laughs> You know, my place is $4,000 for a rent and deposit. Yeah, and I just worked Memorial Day. I worked the double. So I'm going to pick up um, um, Juneteenth and then I'm and then I got on. I'm going to give her a hug. Their last little hug. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, she could be friends with two dogs. Two dogs. Oh, yeah, we already know that. We don't want her to be violent. Oh, my house, thank you. Uh, Pedro, you might want to look at this. I'm good. How does she know what to do? My darling. That bull crap. They'll be fine. We have dropped Zoe off officially. Avery, what you thought we was playing? The whole time you wasn't thinking about Zoe. No. Sit back. It is going to be a sad day, you guys. So I'm, I'm, I'm getting my kids some ice cream so we can get home and we'll, we'll be fine. We'll be I fine. Ice cream as an as got Look at that. Thing, right? When it comes to ice cream. The, the other guy ordered her ice cream with me. Right, Mom? She didn't share it? No. The ice she cream. did. From Whitey's? That one with whipped cream and 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 the and, and the thing. Uh huh. Can I get that one? This like all right. Okay. Look, I think I have shapes. We done finally made it to Whitey's. I'm still sad about Zoe. I feel like she's scared. Hey guys, so like I said, we made it to Whitey's ice cream to kind of you know get the sadness off of us a little bit. No. We'll be just fine. No. We love her. We love her dearly, but she deserved better. This is like my ice cream, you guys. So good. Tramia, she... What the hell was that? <laughs> Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know what that was. 
think it was my uh, whipped cream. But we're on our way home. I'm trying to take a little hour nap or so. I gotta be back at work at nine. And we're just gonna go from there. So um, thank you so much you guys for tuning in. And we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Welcome, if you're new, welcome to my channel, Nita Rache. And if you're returning, welcome back, my sisters, brothers, aunts, and uncles. I love you guys dearly, and thank you so much for supporting us. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye. Bye.